हरे कृष्णा माइंड योर माइंड टू नो वेन इट इज इन ऑर्डर वेन ऑन द बॉर्डर एंड वेन आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर इट इज ऑफन सेट दैट आवर माइंड इज समथिंग विच यू शुड बी माइंडफुल ऑफ माइंडफुलनेस इज अ कॉमन वर्ड नाउ वर्ड इज ना वॉट डज बींग माइंडफुल एक्चुअली मीन so if you want to understand this there are different ways but broadly we can say that we can classify it on three levels that when the mind is in order when on the border and when out of order so if we can, we can consider our mind to be like a device so when a device is functioning properly then it is an aid for us i say but when it is it is getting damaged it is on the border and when it is out of order normally say if we are a we have a phone that is not working it is on the it is out of order then it just doesn't function at all but um, with respect to the mind it starts it keeps functioning but it starts functioning destructively so we need to be mindful to check whether the mind is in order in order means that we we all need to we all need to take time to understand what are our values and purposes in life what is it that we wish to achieve and how is it that we wish to live so that we can achieve this and uh, time honored wisdom texts like the bhagavad gita can give us a holistic vision of life by which we can find the most meaningful and fulfilling purposes and values for our life so and to the extent the mind is when the when the mind is in order that means it is pursuing the values and purposes that uh, that we have defined based on scripture for our our selves for our elevation when the mind is in the on the border means that it is it is considering other things which may be trivial or even destructive so for example the bhagavad gita tells us that we can find the greatest satisfaction through spiritual evolution but the world is filled with sensual temptation and when the mind is on the border then it it keeps oscillating between uh, spiritual cultivation and sensual fantasy uh, sensual imagination so it's on the border so the more we are contemplating sensual things we can know that the mind is in border and when the mind is out of order means when the mind starts impelling us scheming to indulge sensually and then scheming to cover up our intelligence then the mind is out of order and at that time we need to be extremely careful we need to that's a emergency when we need to get ourselves back on track by an emergency dose of scriptural wisdom and a, a strong program of spiritual meditation and absorption some spiritually uplifting association and of course if we do all this when we are the mind is on the border then again it can come back in order uddhare datman atmanam natmanam avasadayet atmaiva ya atmano bandhur atmaiva ripuratmanah so when we recognize that our mind can be both our friend or enemy that when it is in order it is our friend when it is out of order it becomes our enemy and when it is on the border it can go either way then we become mindful and then function in a way that the mind works as our friend and we become elevated and eventually liberated thank you hare krishna